have the upper hand. <laughs> Next, could everyone please take a moment to look at Michaela? Doesn't she look so beautiful this morning? The fact of the matter is, is that Michaela is the best person I know inside and out. She's beautiful, smart, funny, kind, and is always down for an adventure. So when I first met Liam, I was skeptical. I was like, there's no one who could measure up to this. <laughs> but I quickly learned that Liam had a heart of gold <laughs> he can grow a crazy flow. <laughs> and he can drive his, T his Volkswagen TDI up and down Hunter Mountain like a race car. <laughs> but most importantly, Liam saw what I saw in Michaela. And he has treated her the way that she deserves to be treated. And as a best friend, that's all I can ever ask for. Before I finish, I do have a gift for the two of you. You have to open them at the same time, not facing each other because they're the same thing, so I don't want you guys to see. Open them quick, there's a lot of tissue paper. sentimental and um, we don't do sentimental. <laughs> Our family does funny. Well, we're Kayla's brothers and unlike Mark, we did not get her from the Humane Society. <laughs> we got her from Nickelodeon. So when my little angel of a sister was born, I was turning 16. <laughs> yep, 16. So now I'm not only a nanny, I'm a chauffeur. I don't remember much from back then, but a few things do stand out. I don't know if it was a trend or not, but Kayla looked just like... <laughs> Dora the Explorer. Backpack, backpack. <laughs> you have the first form, as we may. Reliable. Structured, cautious, conscientious. Well, maybe that's not me, but. Then you have the middle child. Pleaser, rebellious, reckless. Has a large social circle and lots of friends. That sounds about right. And then we come to the youngest. And bless your big heart, because I believe this is true. The youngest child is really on their own. They're real cute, like a new puppy. But when they get older, you're on your own, kid. <laughs> Kayla fits the last child personality to the T. She's fun-loving, uncomplicated, outgoing, funny, or tries to be. 
and self-sufficient and crafty. I knew she was different from all the rest of us. She was a salutatorian of Hudson High School. And then one day at her cousin's wedding, she met Liam. I'm sure they talked for a couple of months. And then Caleb ordered the... Wait for it. The cat daddy trade. As the relationship grew, they moved into Wild Bill's house, where they can now have four cats. Today we join in the celebration of Michaela and Liam starting the rest of their lives together and hoping the four cats will turn into four kids. <laughs> then we can babysit for you. I don't know if there is a formula for a successful marriage, but if you two trust each other, love yourself and each other, sacrifice like Liam did his hair today, <laughs> share your stories with each other, encourage each other to follow your dreams, and sometimes just sit on the couch together. That could be the right recipe. And you have to be willing to change the recipe over time, adding and removing things to make it just right. So with that, here's to Kayla and Liam, and forever, create your own happy ending. I just want to start off saying uh, welcome to the family, Liam. Um, I'm glad to have another brother, and uh, definitely another brother to, uh, to argue with. And I know you're up to the task, so. <laughs> Congratulations, thank you. Since we're here to witness um, such an incredible uh, journey that this couple is uh, about to embark on, it's a beautiful journey. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. It's not just when I feel bad, then I run out of it. It's a very serious thing. And we only married for one thing, and that is for love. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. Love is not arrogant or rude. It's not insists on its own way. Love is not irritable or resentful. Love does not rejoice at wrongdoing. Love bear all things, believe all things, hope all things. And this is the part that I love. Love endure all things. Love never ends. Love is everlasting. Love is when you wake up in the morning and look at the person that you say, I do. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Let me try to get this right. Flashman. <laughs> 